436-1212. That's the number to call if you have a legal question that you would like to have answered by Charlie O'Hara. He joins us in the studio this morning. Charlie Lime Steels, listen to us on the news. You guys have heard it before. Like, we don't have many details on this. We're waiting for more. A lot of times with cases, you just simply cannot talk about anything for legal reasons. Well, and actually there's some rules that apply to a whole okay. bunch of different people. But as a defense attorney or as if you're hired as an attorney to represent something, somebody, anything they tell you, you have to keep secret. I mean, the only exception to that might be is if you think they're going to really commit a crime. And then if they're really going to go out and hurt somebody or something, mm -hmm. you have to get that stopped somehow. But other than that, they can come in and tell you, well, I, I shot the president or I, shot, I did this. And... As an attorney, you're swore to secrecy. You can never say anything about it. You, you can advise them. And the reason for that, there's a good reason for that as mm -hmm. an attorney, is that you can actually come in and tell the, your attorney what happened. So, right. so you can actually sit there. We're called attorneys and counselors. Actually, counselors of law. You can come in and talk to us about something. Other people, they have to tell. I mean, sometimes uh, certain mm -hmm. things are mandatorily reportable. Like if it's a, a sex case with a kid or something like that, it has to be told. Mm -hmm. Other things, uh, you go to the doctor, it might get out. Uh, you know, a lot of people might say things too. But an attorney, you can actually go in and talk to, and anything that's happened previously, you can tell them about. The attorney cannot tell. That's the rules. We See, cannot tell. Attorney client privilege. That's a that's very, correct. very important part of our legal system. We do that's have a correct. caller on the line with a question, actually. So, hey, caller, uh, if you're there, you can ask your question now to Charlie. Caller, if you're okay. there, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, okay, Mr. Charlie, uh, I got a PFA case that I'm going to. Mm -hmm. And what if there is regarding my children, the judge said that I didn't show that I was their father. But I have our marriage papers, and we was married a year before they was even born. Well, I, I mean, I mean, the, the, the specific, I, I guess we ought to tell everybody what a PFA is, a protection from abuse. And what happens is we have a, a way that you can come in and, in Kansas and file a petition on your own to say something, someone's being abusive to you. Now, this can even be telephone abuse. It could be psychological abuse or physical abuse. You can file something like that, and then you go to court and you have a hearing. It's actually a different set of judges here in Sedgwick County. Uh, uh, we have pro tems usually come in and hear those things. And, and the judge can make orders about what happens. Now, in his specific case, I don't know what the facts were, but obviously if you're married at the time and have children from that marriage, they were, they're presumed to be your children. So I don't okay. know what happened in the, the ruling. but I was going to ask about that part. So. They should have been ruled to be his children from what he said. No, okay. I wasn't there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a big difference there. Thanks so much, okay. Charlie. Uh -huh. Thank you for your phone call as well. We'll see you right back here in just a moment with another check of your